stretching objects symmetric symmetrically. Here I have a bolt and the shaft length we stretched linearly and we started from one point and we went one direction. But here we like to have our head diameter. How wide is this head across the top? So we're going to use a linear parameter for that. However, we want it to go equally, have it go down just as much as it goes up. So we're going to go up and we're going to go over to our block authoring palettes. We're going to make sure we're in our uh, par uh, parameters and we're going to choose linear. And now, down here, before we get started, we're actually going to go in here and use our base option. So I hit B for base. And now we're going to say, where do you want the base location to be? Well, we want it to be in the middle of the bolt head. So we're going to start uh, with that being our midpoint, not our start point. So I'm choose midpoint. And now we we say, where do we want? I'm going to do a shift right click, and I'm going to go to intersection, and I'm going to find the intersection of that center line and the edge of the bolt. And now I want to come down and specify the end point. I'm going to do something. I want to actually go where this intersection would be so I could do some tracking or temporary points but I'm actually gonna go and do a shift right click and do a perpendicular and I find it I pick it and I bring it out and I place my label location out here okay and I pick and in this case, all right, I want to right click, go to properties, and over here in my label, I want to change the name. And I'm going to change it to head diameter. Okay. And I also have, let's see. number of grips being two, the base, lo the base location is midpoint. So I have everything that I need at this point uh, to now what we want to do is Add a stretching action. So I'm going to close this, okay, and I hit escape. And what we want to do is we want to stretch this option. Uh, let me uh, make this a little bit. There we go. And uh, so what I want to do now is go up and add a stretching action. So I go into actions and I go to stretch and it's to select the parameter. So the first thing I want to do is to select the parameter, which is my head diameter. And then it's to specify the point to sign the action. I'm going to pick this point down here. Okay. And now it's going to ask me for the first uh, corner of my stretch frame. So I can now go and pick my box and I'm going to pick um, I'm going to pick right here and I'm going to go and pick right to there. Okay. And then it says select objects. And it says select the objects to be included in this. Um, and I'm going to, I can go around and individually select these things. I can say, well, you know, what do I want to, uh, to grab? Well, I want to grab this. And I want to grab this and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I want to grab this cross line here and in reality I want to stretch this one 
and this little arc. All right. And let's see, do we get everything that I want to stretch? I'm selecting everything individually. And oop, I get didn't get the bottom one, did I? Mm, missed that one. So we got to get that one in there. I think we got everything in there. And now, once we have them all selected, I can hit enter and I've added a stretch action to it. So what I can do is I can repeat it for the other side if I want. Um, and uh, I can test and save the block using the block editor's test, test block. And uh, I could also use the properties palette to define it as well, uh, use that and do some testing as well. Uh, so there we have, um, basically we just did stretching objects symmetrically.